when you look at starting fives, I think, you know, this Orlando squad is a slightly better team. But I know that the Grizzlies are better off the bench. Uh, so despite the Orlando Magic having home court advantage here, I'm actually going to say that I think the Grizzlies are going to win this. Everyone, thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. NBA action is coming up. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, tip. this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Mm. We'll oh, see the immediate. Memphis Grizzlies and the Orlando Magic. Oh, no hesitation. The opening lineup for the Memphis Grizzlies. We've got Conley. He's out there with Moran. Oh, this Magic Squad. In at the three, the small forward. A shot by McGrady, no good. You know. Has and here are the typically had a uh, a rough bench. Conley and surveying the D. Them drafting Felix Mendez. Jackson a screen on was huge for them. Steps right. back and fires. Um, Conley gets the bucket. Gave them that big man backing up the, 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 the two that twin towers the they had. Right. Taken away. Um, but the Grizzlies, on the other hand, I mean they drafted DJ Cameron, who is also. <laughs> Pass Pretty solid Mullins. big man coming out of this draft and um, lots of talent one in this rookie class. Two points with his first shot this game. Uh, a point who you know, knows his role. Has guys up been able, you know, he's allowed them to, to be able to play Brady. a different, Brady. bigger line of this game, which, which I think has helped them. They were able to get to the playoffs last year, exactly took a first-round exit. Energy, they got a young team, but they've been saying that for seasons, oh, right? you know, for five years. Oh, we got a young team, we got a young team. Well, now you're, you're not really a young team, you're just an average age team. You've had so long to, to, to match and get things together. And you really just have to. So it's like, thank you, Kevin. Well, earlier I you spoke know, with we, Orlando. They're so shifting from we got a young team and in the future is ours to our time is now. So they're hoping to, on the glass. to make a deep run, deep playoff run this season. So Orlando the, the squad, the just looking to, you, to, to make any playoff appearance. So what does that mean if your man is still yet to make the playoffs? Which is crazy to think they have a, a young Brian Shaq and Dwight Howard. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. Grant. Grizzlies off Brady. to a quick start here. Mullins kicks to Conley. And Penny Hart. You know? Oh. And the mm. free ball is good. Conley's got seven points in the game. Thank God. And the story here, Kevin Irving. Running all around. Is how well they shot the basketball. O'Neal is green on Walker. They Hill really need a bucket here. Running that pick and roll, but Randy Mullins is an Branch excellent and defender, and he sends Shaq stuff back to Tijuana. Fortunately, no step back wasn't big enough. Didn't create enough space there. To Howard. He doesn't get to fight necessarily the hole if he wants. Hey man, they're cutting back door. They're, they're getting these opportunities. Out of bounds, looks this game's Honestly, goes out of bounds. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Oh, now, the lob to Jackson, oh, trying to go for that lob. Did, he didn't start. put enough on it, man. It's back to Hill. That ball just kind of sat in the air for a little too long. That was a much needed offensive rebound and put back there. And Morant gets it to go on the assist from Every time they get scored on during this run, they might want to call a timeout here. And that outstanding drive and finish kind of stopped the momentum a little bit. Maybe get their bearings up. Like I mean, that, which have helped them build this lead here. It's clear that they've told the game plan to feed Shaq. He is not the needing. Meanwhile, <laughs> it's the Grizzlies from yeah. deep. Conley and, and Moran have been. I mean, he had his choice there, right? Conley didn't even have to shoot. He had 
Here's the coach just go to the clipboard to outline those Wide open in the corner. Time out the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. Let's see what, the clearly the game plan they came in with. Players knows it. They're all picking sure to stay. It's not going to work. So let's see what they switch to here. If you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical. And he's saying, hey, Chris has been playing aggressive down low. It's. One of the most ferocious scores in the game. Let's try to force our way to the line, maybe? To contain. Morant passes mm. to Jackson. Solid, solid defense by Dwight Howard, Howard there. He kind of was no put in a position. In the for him. Buries the long -range <laughs> a compromising position. He made the most of it for sure. He can to get them where they want to be. He's been on a maybe the game plan is just feed Trace McGrady. It was feed Shaq. He wouldn't need now. It's feed Tracy. Feed McGrady. Walker surveying the floor. A three. And it's Morant missing. Orlando trailing here. Now help. Trying to find Jackson. Wow. He's got it now. That was a tough pass. Especially for Dwight Howard. Morant outside. The pass to Why they tried throwing that needle, I, I don't know. Dishes it to come. Just five to shoot. There's Ooh, Jackson with the three. And the aggressive nice the shot there. From O'Neal, terrific at turning shots away with that size and length. Let's see, draw up on the inbound. Double screen to Mike Conley. Two on the clock. Here's Conley. <laughs> Great D that time. It was weird. He had like three seconds on the shot clock. Shot and definitely make, and the defense not a factor at the wall. Just kind of sat there. <laughs> kind of dumbed out. McGrady. Meanwhile, and again, it's Orlando with the three. Yeah, it definitely looks like they're playing this, this feed. Right <laughs> He's at 15 tonight. He said, you know, we, we wanted to get into Shaq. He's not doing anything. Tracy's hot. Let's just give him the rocks. You do whatever you want. Attack the rim. Shoot from behind the arc. Whatever you got to do. Just get the, the ball for Memphis. They trail by one. Yeah. So as long as you're hot, just take the shot. Yeah. Rebounded by Howard. Howard's got four rebounds in this game. That's to Hardaway. I was saying, Dwight already has a four rebounds in the game. Racking them up. Down low. Here's Shaq, I applaud your. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. I applaud your right your persistence, but one of six, Walker man. I mean, come. just uh, give it a break. If anything, get the white on Jerry hey, Jackson. Gets, a bucket, gets the mm. three pointer to fall. Conley's got 13. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Conley averaging 11 points. Or 11 points this year. kind of crazy. And those are highly oh, elite numbers. And if I could this one, we take a ooh, great pass from Brady. Just feed Brady. Just let Brady run the offense. Let him do it all. After this, we'll take a look at the season leaders, stat leaders. Back to Conley. Maybe, maybe Good. some more. From Morant. And that's 15 points for Conley. I don't think we can look at that until after this. Efficiency is everything, right? So far also, in this one, this guy has been on the money. Pass to Howard. To the middle. Stole wow. Away. How's Shaq not come up with that? McGrady Shaq's really Morant. selling and John Moran off a double screen. The three pointer. Mm. Five points in the game. And guys, let's get your take. And again, they run that play with Jarris Walker sitting in the corner. He's really wide open. So Grant Hill is there, but he's not. He's, I mean, he's got a foot in the bank. You know? I would say just have Big Daddy Diesel set, set screens. Set screen people in the living on shooters, blocking shots, Get playing it to with where great he can. Here's Conley, following the basket by Shaquille O'Neal. Jackson misses. O'Neal passes to McGrady. So far, we're, we only got three minutes in the quarter. All five starters for both teams still out there. Usually, it's a full platoon swap at this point. Tracy! Their strategy was feed Tracy. Space. Awesome display of athleticism Ooh, captured good. by your AT&T 5G slam cam. 
Jackson a screen on Hardaway. Here's Conley. Mm. Oh, he's wide open. He had time to think about it. Write a letter. And he's not gonna miss that sort of an opportunity. Nor should he. Time call here. Nor should. To talk no over. one should. You look at Michael Conley. What a contribution. This is a timely timeout because this guy is hurting them. They've got to figure it out. So a new group on the floor for Orlando. Hey man, this man is fun. They call a timeout. They get stuff together. Now we we're gonna. Yeah, what I believe would be a full swap from everybody, right? Full swap for Lando. Yeah. Three point lead. And Nelson gets Not it to a go. full swap. And that's the shot Nelson's always relied on. For the Grizzlies, uh, well, he works non stop on the perimeter. Walker and Randolph are still out there. Uh, Randolph Mullins and, and Jared Jackson. Two more. They're really just Bibby and Bane. Right right? now, each team getting what it wants. Yeah, this is already a oh, high-scoring game, but we knew that was a possibility coming into this one. Now, here is Nelson. Oh, wait. And Nelson one goes is in. Oh, no, no, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, they mean Cameron. Here's Mullins. Now, here is Bibby. Oh, that's why Jackson I don't... with the three. Mm. And again, and it's he's Bibby already had a warm-up from there early. <laughs> yeah, Bibby does a great job uh, uh, within their offense, especially when it comes to spotting the open man. Nelson from outside. Jeez. I think Bibby might have got a, a finger tip on that one. The three that was just made on the other end, but he can't let that affect his judgment. He's got to find the best shot. Cameron, he's having it. it from three-point range. Good season off the bench. Point mm -hmm. this good and good rookie here. Points now almost so far, he's, he's from been the triple. very Four efficient. The last five makes. Oh, and that's the wide open. Bob yeah, Burks. Open look right there. He's going to sink that. Into for sure. a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of defensive three effort. Point opportunities. Pass to Black. Back to Nelson. Driving in, deflects the pass. Look at that. This was so sweet. Coach can't get it to go. He, he should have made the extra pass. by five on the pass to Bibby. Jackson, a screen on Ooh, Bibby. Bibby dishes to Jackson. Dude, he's Here's so Cameron. good. It's Just good making the extra pass. From Jackson. Seeing the, the open man playing the pick and roll. And you can see the results. Right now, both these teams really getting just about anything they want to go. Pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Mike Bibby. But the Grizzly shooting a whopping 70 percent. And the first one. It's hard to beat a team. Bain comes in for Walker. And now we do see indeed the full, the full swap. Except Terry Jackson still out there. What an advantage. Boy, you really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Ooh. Ooh. Outside. Maybe Sauce in here, bro. Bane off the screen. screen. He's going to take it to the rack. Nope. To Shot clock at six from past the arc. No good wow. that time. So Orlando will take it the other He's way. one of those guys when he shoots the rock. The shot he takes such a good shot. Such a good shot. percentages. That's that good shot just selection. A careless yeah. turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Oh, they showed him back to earlier. And that rejection had some Which here's Walker. Huge, huge play. And look at him with a little and smile on his face. Twice about attempting that shot again. Grizzly's going to have a chance to. Rejection. Oh. And there's the try. Oh, what a block. Back by what a block. I don't know what happened to Nelson in his ankles or his he knees or his hips. He's fumbling on offense now, even. Here's Black. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't. couldn't make anything of that amazing opportunity they had. I said, I, I, I knew I said the Grizzlies would win. I'm sticking to that choice, man. They've been playing phenomenally. Phenomenally. Oof. Oof. And they, they get the four pointer. The four pointer. I mean, they were up six. Up, up another. Like five, so they're up eleven, and then oh yeah, up up another nine there. So they're up twenty going into the fourth. So yeah, of course they sure, sure score forty three points. Sure, we'll we'll treat it like a shoot around. You know, we'll just 
you know, just take up some possessions, basically, right? Uh, and they let it back within four, but, you know, it was, it was really blowout territory. Um, and, and they got there because they were shooting just crazy percentages in the first quarter, um, despite, you know, the Orlando, this Orlando squad, despite them winning the turnover battle, despite them, uh, you know, getting the offensive rebounds, the Grizzlies had all the defensive rebounds. The Grizzlies bench was fantastic. And their overall shot percentages um, and, and just how many of them they, they put up um, from beyond the arc is, is what won them this, for sure. For sure. Um, but you can't help but think four-point game, you know, four th- missed free throws <laughs> for the Magic. Uh, I don't know. It could have gone either way, I guess. Let's take a look at the box score, though. Uh, yeah. Tracy had 35 on him. 17 of that was in the first quarter. Man. He was lights out phenomenal. Penny Hardaway didn't miss a single shot, and he had eight assists and three steals. Shaq, I mean, that's a rough night, man. It's a rough night on the floor. Grant Hill went five of seven, two of three, had 10 assists, two steals. Dwight Howard even had an okay night with six rebounds and multiple steals and a block. Turned the ball over five times, though. Um, you know, between those two guys, you definitely wanted them to be more efficient offensively. I could easily see four points coming from, from you know, four more points getting generated from these guys and maybe even um, just getting getting Dwight those opportunities instead of Shaq here, right? Just Randolph Mullins, such a stout defender. But also, I mean, Nelson, going three of nine off the bench, one of six from beyond the arc. If you're talking about a four-point game, it could have been. Bob Burks went one of eight. You know, it could have been literally anything. And I think everyone looks at themselves and they take accountability. And hopefully, this is what they need to rally as a team. All right. Um, meanwhile, though, let's take a look at the winners, man. John Morant dropping a 30 piece on them with nine assists. Mike Conley had 24 points, 11 assists, two steals, had seven rebounds from the point guard position. My guy went perfect from beyond the arc. DJ Cameron off the bench had 16. All right. Mike Bibby off the bench had 13. <laughs> Randy Mullins might be the star of the show, the show holding Shaq to abysmal numbers, racking up a double double and getting two steals and three blocks. An absolutely elite performance from him as a big man. And then you got Abdur Rahim only missing one shot on the night. You got. Jaron Jackson with three blocks racked up as well. Paul Gasol, Paul Gasol, <laughs> only missing one shot on the night. So yeah, I mean these guys, uh, two of three, one of one, one of one, just top to bottom. Everyone is involved. Jarris Walker did absolutely nothing, and despite him doing absolutely nothing, they managed to still get a four point win. That's 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 what I'm taking away from that. 